In this video, we'll take a quick look at one of the tools that you have with Scrappy, which is uh, the Scrappy Telnet console. Now, you probably have already come across the Scrappy shell, but in addition to the shell itself, uh, one of the tools that you can take a look at to help you uh, inspect and understand what's going on within Scrappy, particularly while it's running, is to actually use the Telnet console. Now, the Telnet console itself is uh, really a shell um, that's uh, a Python shell that's really running uh, within the Scrappy process. So you basically have visibility into all the runtime uh, elements, if you will, of uh, the crawler. So that can be really handy. Um, so uh, I'd encourage you to take a look at uh, the document which has um, enlisted a few of the commands uh, but in this video we'll take a look at uh, some of the other commands that have really helped me understand um, how Scrapi works behind the scene and um, how do you take control over uh, running crawler etc. Uh, so uh, behind the scene I'm, I'm running Scrapi. It's uh, running a long running crawl. Um, you can see it's uh, running here in the background. I'm only displaying um, or I've disabled uh, the debug so it's uh, basically showing me info and errors only uh, but you'll see this uh, this can be quite chatty at times so it's running in the background. Um, I'm running Scrapi on a Linux server and I've connected uh, using PuTTY. And I've got uh, two two windows here. So one, you can just see it's running in the background, just so that we know it's running. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a fairly long-running crawl. It's a broad crawl. And um, in this window, we'll issue some. Uh, we'll connect to Telnet and issue some commands. Uh, so to get started, um, uh, the first thing is you'll want to connect to um, uh, the uh, Telnet shell. Um, so by default, um, it's uh, going to connect to 6023. So the very first time when you run um, the crawl, that is Scrappy crawl, and um, give the crawler name, one of the um, uh, the updates you'll see on the console is uh, that it lets you know that you can connect to uh, a particular port and uh, by uh, port for Telnet. And by default, it's 6023. Um, so unless you have changed it. So let's uh, issue that command. So let's uh, connect, and uh, there we are. So we're all good to start. Uh, the document has uh, given a, a bit of insight into um, some of the uh, the commands that we have. Um, so we'll run a few of these. Uh, so to get started, if you want to issue uh, the EST command, which basically uh, gives us a status of uh, what's going on. Uh, so of course the, um, the the crawler is running uh, for some time, and uh, we can see a gist, if you will, of uh, some of the key runtime uh, attributes, if you will. Uh, so here, obviously, um, the crawler is running, um, so it's definitely not idle, and you can see some of the stats. So that's quite handy, and also um, uh, some of the commands here. So instead, if you wanted to. Um, uh, stop or pause and unpause the crawler um, instead of um, you know canceling it with the control C here or stopping the crawler completely uh, we can issue some of these commands um, uh, again I'm, I'm not gonna do it uh, right now but um, just uh, letting you know that uh, those are some commands you can use uh, so it will not necessarily pause uh, instantly uh, if there's a long-running queue uh, it will process uh, or continue to process some of the queues before it fully pauses. So that's something you'll want to be mindful of. Um, now, the commands that I really find useful, um, again, uh, some of these are not listed um, uh, in this particular section, but are pretty much, uh, you know, uh, kind of like spread all through the documentation. But things that I find, uh, uh, some of the commands that I, I find useful, particularly if I'm running multiple spiders, is uh, to actually use some of these. Um, so, for example, if you want to know which is your active spider, um, you can give the spider dot name and uh, it tells you which uh, are the active spiders. So in this particular case, I only have one spider, which is my broad spider that's uh, running here in the background. 
Um, the other command that I, I, I sometimes uh, keep uh, using is uh, to actually see the, the settings itself. So uh, sometimes you have uh, created settings um, uh, within the settings.py uh, or uh, instead of uh, having to go to the settings file every single time or um, you know in case you have overridden some of the settings within your code uh, it's quite handy to see the settings right here um, so for example if you want to click on settings and um, uh, say for example you want to um, give a few examples so these are settings in your config file of, or if you've set it in your code so for example if I want to know if uh, my spider has uh, redirect enabled um, so it's easy to see the the values of these settings so I know that this particular spider has a redirect um, uh, set to false uh, by default it's um, set to true but uh, in case of broad spiders uh, uh, an example or a good practice is uh, not to enable redirect so it's really helpful to see some of the settings um, it's uh, the thing I, I most often use um, uh, the telnet console is uh, to actually uh, see the performance uh, so um, one of the challenges uh, you'll face when you're running uh, Scrapy, particularly for long running crawls, is uh, that it tends to consume um, a fair bit of memory. Um, so uh, it's uh, helpful to understand what's going on in the background. So if you run uh, the perfs um, here, you'll see, uh, you'll get an idea as to what are the um, uh, things that are consuming memory um, so the thing to keep in mind is uh, you, you may want to run it a, a you know a few instances and you'll see uh, what's going on in the background so of course this is um, uh, running quite actively so here you can see um, uh, the how old individual objects are so in this particular case we have request objects that typically tend to have a long long lifespan and as you can see um, uh, this um, uh, the oldest request uh, as you can see here is, uh, is fairly fairly old and that's uh, one of the things you'll notice when you run uh, scrap I and or side by side if you uh, have some utilities or if you're monitoring the memory consumption you'll see that uh, scrappy tends to consume a lot of memory particularly for requests um, but um, uh, again you'll find that if you're running focus crawls on uh, smaller websites um, uh, this is not going to be huge if you're running broader crawls or uh, you know uh, crawling fairly large sites um, um, then you'll find that the requests tend to particularly have a long long lifespan and uh, one of the things you'll want to look back at your code is uh, to make sure that uh, your code is well written if you see something suspicious as to why certain objects particularly for focused and smaller crawls if uh, the lifetime of your objects are fairly long uh, then you'll definitely want to investigate um, your code and see if um, uh, there's some optimizations or incorrect code that you've written uh, typically the the response uh, tends to have a much smaller lifespan uh, so if you're seeing that uh, there's a high correlation between your request and response then that's definitely something you'll want to investigate into um, and uh, you uh, as I mentioned you probably will want to run uh, this command a couple of times um, just so that you see what's happening uh, you know behind the scenes uh, apart from that, the last thing I, I or the most other uh, common thing that I use um, the Telnet console is to get a quick status uh, of uh, the crawler itself. Uh, so, of course, if you're uh, if you're running the crawler, uh, you'll have to keep um, looking around for status updates like this uh, information here. Uh, but um, without uh, uh, you know stopping the crawler if you want to get a quick sense of uh, uh, the stats uh, of the crawler uh, the command that you can use is uh, stats here so if you click on stats and then get stats uh, it gives you a quick uh, dump of uh, the stats let me just uh, increase the size here and get stats so um, 
if this looks very very cryptic um, so uh, keep in mind uh, yeah this is kind of like formatted like JSON uh, the thing to keep in mind is when the crawler completes uh, if you have noticed at the end of the crawl it gives you a quick status or at the very end that's pretty much the same data points that you see here so it tells you stats about the crawl uh, and um, you know the overall statistics if you will um, of the active crawl so if you um, um, uh, run the command it gives you at that point in time uh, so a total summary uh, sometimes this can be really hard to read but um, uh, once you get the hang of it it's uh, fairly easy to follow uh, one of the things you can do is um, if you're interested in a particular stat for example like if you want to know um, the the uh, the item count how many items have been scraped so it's really hard to uh, keep chasing up behind uh, info updates here so one of the commands you can use is uh, to actually uh, do stats and get value and item scrape count uh, so here you can see that it's um, uh, you know uh, since it's a live running system um, you can see how many items have been scraped here um, so uh, if you are interested in um, uh, getting the stats of uh, other commands um, or other uh, updates um, it's as simple as uh, uh, using get uh, value and um, identify what you are interested in here so uh, for example uh, if we want to understand um, the status of uh, say uh, this particular so you can just uh, copy and paste that there and uh, the whole and uh, here you can see um, the status of that if uh, that's the key thing that you want to keep looking at as opposed to looking at this uh, uh, big blurb of uh, you know updates here so this is something I find uh, really helpful particularly if you're running a, a lengthy crawl um, it's helpful to go to the telnet console and uh, get a quick sense of um, the status uh, so overall it's a very handy tool to have um, so a lot of memory debugging and understanding of how your crawler performs you can do that uh, using uh, the telnet console plus if you want to get uh, updates of uh, what's happening within your crawler uh, there's a wealth of information here that uh, gets tallied up uh, every time the crawler um, uh, or the engine makes requests and uh, processes the response it's all tallied up here so it's really handy to have a quick look at um, the console uh, so that's about it for this video uh, hope this has been helpful uh, if you have any questions leave a comment below thanks everyone bye